हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम प्रेम गुप्ता योर इंग्लिश टीचर डेयर स्टूडेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस क्लासेज वी वर डिस्कसिंग द चैप्टर एट ऑफ इंग्लिश ग्रामर दैट इज एडजेक्टिव एंड काइंड ऑफ एडजेक्टिव डेयर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस चैप्टर वी हैव रेड द डेफिनेशन ऑफ एडजेक्टिव एंड फीचर्स ऑफ एडजेक्टिव डेयर स्टूडेंट्स इन द डेफिनेशन इन द मीनिंग ऑफ एडजेक्टिव आई हैव टोल्ड यू दैट एडजेक्टिव इज ए वर्ड एडजेक्टिव इज ए डिस्क्राइबिंग वर्ड That describe the quality of a noun or pronoun in a sentence. Okay, for example, I have told you that is building. B u i l d. Building is a noun. Okay. We are using a word old to describe that building. The building is old. Okay. So the word old is an adjective because. it is a describing word it describe the quality of that building what kind of building that is old building suppose that that is boy okay what is the quality of boy that is good so the word good is an adjective and that is noun so on the basis of this example we can say that adjective is a word adjective is a describing word which describes the quality of a noun or pronoun or you can say it qualifies a noun or pronoun in a sentence okay students i hope that you all have understood the definition or meaning of an adjective and after that i have also taught you the features of an adjective okay the students now feature of an adjective dear students in the first feature i have told you that maximum adjective occurs before the noun first feature was that it occurs before the noun before noun before noun as you have seen the example car okay that is nice car the word nice that is noun and that is adjective and the first feature says that maximum number of adjective occurs before the noun so in this sentence it occurs before the noun and the second feature i have told you in the second feature i have told you that is it occurs just after the verb just after the verb after verb and what are they B is M R was were and been. Yes, students. For example, we can see the stream is B. The stream is B. Yes, students. In this sentence, what is verb? That is verb, and that is describing word, adjective. Okay, students. So this is the second feature of an adjective that it occurs just after the. Wow, and what is the third? In the third feature, I have told you it occurs just after the very adverb. Okay, that is adverb. That is adverb. That is ad. And just after we can put very good, very nice, very beautiful. Okay, so in the first feature we have seen that it occurs. before the noun in the second feature we have seen it occurs just after the verb helping verb and in the third feature we have seen it generally occurs after the adverb very okay students so i hope that you all have understood the meaning of an adjective as well as features of an adjective yes students in the previous classes we have also read the names kinds name kinds of adjective in which i have told you there are six kinds which is given in your book there are six kinds that is adjective of quality adjective of quantity adjective of number distributive adjective demonstrative adjective and interrogative adjective these and possessive adjective proper adjective there are eight kinds given in your book that you have to read okay students so first of all we will discuss the kinds 
द फर्स्ट काइंड दैट इज एडजेक्टिव ऑफ क्वालिटी ये स्टूडेंट जस्ट ओपन योर नोटबुक एंड पुट आउट योर पेन टू राइट इन योर नोटबुक जस्ट पुट द हेडिंग फर्स्ट काइंड दैट इज एडजेक्टिव ऑफ क्वालिटी एडजेक्टिव of quality okay just put the heading adjective of quality okay student just put the heading adjective of quality what is adjective of quality dear students the adjective which tells the quality the word which tells the quality of a noun or pronoun in a sentence that is known as adjective of quality okay just write down adjective of quality shows i am writing from here adjective of quality of quality adjective of quality so the quality of a person the quality <coughs> of a person पर्सन और थिंग ओके स्टूडेंट्स जैसे एडजेक्टिव ऑफ क्वालिटी शोज वट क्वालिटी ऑफ अ पर्सन और थिंग ओके इट शोज द क्वालिटी ऑफ ए पर्सन और एनी अदर थिंग्स ओके स्टूडेंट्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी कैन सी एग्जाम्पल यू ऑल्सो राइट राम इज ए गुड बॉय राम इज अ गुड बॉय ओके स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस सेंटेंस यू कैन सी वट इज नाउ स्टूडेंट दैट इज नाउ गुड एंड वट इज द क्वालिटी वट इज द क्वालिटी ऑफ अ पर्सन वट इज द क्वालिटी ऑफ दिस बॉय बॉय इज अ पर्सन and what is the quality of that boy that is good so here in this sentence what is adjective of quality that is good okay students so keep in your mind that adjective of quality shows the quality of a man sorry shows the quality of a person or thing okay in this sentence you have seen ram is a good boy in this sentence what is the quality of boy that is good okay students so in this sentence what is adjective of quality that is good okay another example you can see the table is long the table is long just see students the table is long what is the quality of that table that is long okay that is thing it is also written that it tells the quality of person or thing in this sentence we are telling you you are getting that the word good shows the quality of person in this sentence you can see it tells the quality of the thing that is table okay ram is a good boy in this sentence the word good is adjective of quality in the another sentence the table is long in this sentence the word long is an adjective is a describing word it describe the quality of a thing that is table okay students i hope that you all have understood what is adjective of quality it shows the quality of a person or thing in a sentence example we have written so just write down this about adjective of quality in your notebook and after completing this 
टाइम यू पुट द हेडिंग एडजेक्टिव ऑफ क्वांटिटी ओके स्टूडेंट्स जस्ट राइट इट एंड आई होप दैट यू ऑल हैव रिटर्न देर फोर आई एम गोइंग टू इरेज इट ओके एंड जस्ट पुट द अनदर हेडिंग एडजेक्टिव ऑफ क्वांटिटी एडजेक्टिव ऑफ क्वांटिटी the c students adjective of quantity second adjective of quantity that is quantity it shows the quantity how much thing is meant it give the answer of how much it give the answer of how much and that is uncountable noun the noun which cannot be counted here we cannot count the things but we can tell that how much thing is meant okay students so just write down about it adjective of quantity just write down for the heading adjective of quantity and after that i am adjective of quantity adjective of quantity adjective of quantity so what how much of a thing how much of a thing is meant just see adjective of quantity quantity so what so how much how much how much of a thing is meant ki koi cheez kitna hai adjective of quantity ye batata hai okay you see adjective of quantity shows how much of a thing is meant okay students so just write down and we will see the example example For example, we can see. I need some food. For first example, I need some food. Which means in this sentence, what is noun? The word food is noun, and what is adject uh, adjective? The word some. It denotes the quantity of the food. it denotes the quantity of food okay students therefore that is adjective of quantity in this sentence what is adjective of quantity the word sum is adjective of quantity because it tells the quantity how much food is there okay some food we cannot count dear students one thing i want to tell you that in adjective of quantity adjective of quantity is uncountable noun and adjective of number is countable noun when you will read the adjective of number after that after this then you will find that adjective of number is also tells the number of the people are of a thing but that you can count but here you cannot count how much food it give the answer of question how much but adjective of number give the answer of question how many okay students so just write out write about it adjective of quantity i need some food in this sentence what is 
adjective in this sentence the word sum is adjective okay what kind of adjective adjective of quantity okay st students come to the next example he did not eat any rice any rice just see in this sentence can we count the rice no any rice the word any is what adjective of quantity it shows the quantity of the rice he did not eat any rice okay what is noun rice is noun and just before we are getting an adjective that is adjective of quantity okay students i hope that you all have understood the things he did not eat any rice okay he did not eat any rice so in this sentence the word any is adjective of quantity okay students so i hope that you all have understood the things adjective of quantity what does mean by quantity adjective of quantity adjective of quantity shows how much of a thing is meant okay for example i need some food in this sentence what is adjective of quantity the word some he did not eat any rice in this sentence what is adjective of quantity any the word any is adjective of quantity in this sentence okay students i hope that you all have understood come to the next question next heading that is adjective of numbers adjective of number yes students just put the heading adjective of number adjective of number n u m b e r okay students just write down adjective of number it tells the number as it is written here number it tells the number 1 2 3 1 dozen 1 month 2 month these are what numbers okay students just write about it adjective of numbers adjective of number shows how many shows how many person or thing are meant or things are meant just see adjective of number shows how many person or thing are meant okay how many person or things are meant or in what order or in what order a person or thing is strength a person or thing is strength or thing is strength okay students just write out <coughs> adjective of numbers shows how many person or thing are meant or in what order person or thing is strong it shows how many dear yes, students in the quantity you have read the how much okay how much thing are meant but here how many person or thing are meant okay or in what order the person or thing stands okay So just write down example.
example we will discuss just see all the peoples were ready to dance yes, students in your book also given so many example the first girl won the prize i'm going to write the first girl the first girl won the prize P R I Z E. Just say, students. In this sentence, what is noun? The word girl is noun. Okay. Just before that, there is a word first. It denotes the number or order of a person. That is ten. Just see. The first girl won the prize. In this sentence, what is adjective of number? The word first is adjective of number. Okay, students. Another example we can see. It is also given in your book. Many girls were not there. Many girls were not there. Many girls were not there. Yes, friends, you can see here the word many denotes the number. Many girls, and we can count it. Many girls were not there. In this sentence, what is the adjective of number? The word many. Okay, students. So I hope that you all have understood what is number and what is difference between the adjective of quantity and adjective of number. There is a very slight difference. Okay, in the adjective of quantity, adjective of quantity so shows us that that how much thing is meant. But adjective of number shows right how many person are thing is meant. Okay, so this is the difference between adjective of quantity and adjective of number. So students, today we have read the adjective of quality, adjective of quantity, and adjective of numbers. And I hope that you all have understood the things, and you will also write all these things in your notebook, and you will also. Try to understand the things. What are they? Okay, students. In the next class, we will discuss the another kinds of adjective. So that's all for today. Thank you.